Hi, I'm Steve Santoro with Luchon Electronics and today I'm going to show you how to install Sunata LED Plus Dimmer with accessory switches when your light's being controlled from two or more locations. I'm first going to install the dimmer in our first three-way location and then show you how to install the accessory switches in the remaining locations. Please note though that the dimmer can be installed in any location. Once you have confirmed that your power is off, you can remove the wall plate and pull the switch from the wall. Now that the switch is pulled from the wall, we're going to take a piece of electrical tape and tag our common wire. This is the wire that's attached to the screw that's a different color. In this example, it's a black screw. Once we've tagged our common wire, we can remove the switch from the wall. The first step in installing your dimmer is to take the green ground wire from the dimmer and connect it to the bare copper wire in your wall. Next, we want to take the wire that you tagged as the common and tie that to the black wire on the dimmer. The remaining two wires from your wall are called your traveler wires. We're going to choose a wire that we'll be able to easily identify in the other location and we're going to attach that to the blue wire. In this example, we're going to choose the red wire. Attach the remaining traveler wire to the red wire on your Sunata dimmer. Once you have your dimmer connected, we're going to push the wires back into the wall, attach it to the wall box, and install our Claro screwless faceplate. Here we are at our other three-way location where we will install our Sunata accessory switch. I've already removed it from the wall and we're going to be installing it next to a single pull Sunata which I've wired in another video. Just like in the first location we're going to take a piece of electrical tape and tag our common wire. Again this is the wire attached to the different colored screw. Once we have our common wire tagged we're going to remove the switch from the wall. Now that our switch is removed, we're going to install our Sunata accessory switch into this location. We're going to start by attaching the ground wire from the wall to the green wire on your accessory switch. Next, take your tagged common wire and attach it to the black wire on your accessory switch. Again, the two wires left in the wall are two traveler wires. Identify what color you attach to the blue wire in the first location. Remember in this example we chose the red wire and attach that to the blue wire in this location. Lastly, attach the remaining wire from your wall to the red wire on your accessory switch. Once you have the accessory switch attached, we're going to push the wires back into the wall and attach our Claro screwless faceplate. Here we are at our four-way location where we're going to install our second accessory switch. First, we're going to attach our ground wire to the green wire on the accessory switch. Next, we're going to identify the color of wire that we attached to the blue wire in the other two locations. Remember in this example we chose the red wire and we're going to attach that to the blue wire in this location as well. We're going to attach the remaining two wires from the wall to the black and red wire on the accessory switch and it will not matter which one goes to which on the accessory switch. They are interchangeable. Once we have the accessory switch wired in, we're going to push the wires back into the wall and we're going to install our screwless Claro faceplate. Now that you have your dimmers installed, you can restore power at the breaker and test your dimmers. 
I set a preset for 50%, so when I press the on, it should come on at 50%. Tapping it again should turn on to full brightness. And if you try it at the accessory switch, it should be the same. Tap once to turn on to 50%, and tap again for full brightness. You can also press and hold the off button for two seconds to begin a 30 second delayed fade to off. I hope this video was helpful, and for more tips and tricks, including how to set the preset or your low end trim, please check out lutron.com slash Sunata support.